So question number eight, using a ruler and a pair of compasses on uh, construct a triangle LMN in which LM is equal to 5 centimeter, LN is equal to 5.6 centimeter, and angle LM, MLN is equal to 45 degrees. Uh, so that you get uh, two marks. The circle that touches or the size of the triangle, you get two marks. So to be able to do this question, you start by drawing the line LM. So you measure using, uh, you draw a line and you measure, uh, you can use your divider uh, to measure five centimeter. And uh, you plot that, use your compass to, 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 to get five centimeter. Uh, then uh, you need to construct angle 45. And to construct angle 45, you first of all construct, uh, so let's say this is your 5 centimeter. Uh, so you mark that, those two points, you make two arcs from that point, uh, that is from uh, the point uh, that is L. Uh, so you again make two marks and you construct an angle of, you bisect rather, you bisect an angle of the angle of 90, you'll be able to get that is 45 degrees. From there, since you are told uh, L, Ln is 5.6, so you measure 5.6 centimeter with your divider, then use your compass to make that mark. Then this is your N, then you can join the two. This is our M. So that way you will be able to come up with a triangle, uh, Ln, Mn. Then to get the circle that touches all the sides, you need to bisect this angle. 45 so you get that uh, you again bisect this angle and you make two mark where the two uh, meets or cross each other you use that as the center of the circle you drop a perpendicular here and uh, that is perpendicular you use that as a radius and you'll be able to come up with uh, the, the circle that touches the uh, uh, three sides of the triangle so that is the procedure so let's see how we uh, go about it so this is the first step. You draw a line and you measure 5 cm uh, using a ruler and you can use either the compass or the divider. So once you measure that, you get your LM. Uh, the next thing is to make a perpendicular line. You mark two points from L, equal points, and you make uh, two arcs which are here. And uh, from there, we are going to bisect this line. We make two arcs which uh, will enable you to uh, to get angle 45 so I have bisected that angle 90 so we know that our angle is there is 45 and once you bisect then uh, what remains is to measure 5.6 centimeter to get the location of N uh, which I have done there so that is 5.6 uh, centimeter then you can join N and M so that you come up with a triangle so that is our triangle L M N uh, once you do that then uh, you need for you to get the circle touching all the three sides you need to bisect the angle so you can bisect N, N L M uh, so you bisect that angle by making two marks and um, two arcs like you can see then uh, you draw a line Again, you bisect angle L, M, N. So you bisect like that. Where the two rays meet, uh, you drop a perpendicular to line L, M. Uh, so that is how you, uh, okay, you get to, you, uh, you know how to uh, drop a perpendicular. You make two marks and then uh, you uh, on L, M and uh, you make two arcs on both sides using those two points and you come up with a perpendicular. And use that as the radius of the circle and draw a circle touching the three sides. So that is the circle that you get. So that's how you go about that question and uh, you get full mark. Click here to get the notification of new videos. Subscribe to my channel, like and share and you can also comment. So that will enable you to get more videos on this topic. You can call or WhatsApp that number to book my online classes. Thank you.